What's our mission today, Captain? I'm ready for any... Shiver me whiskers! What's that big green thing? Some sort of humongous blob monster heading towards us? I'm tracking a large mass of plankton to see how wind and waves affect its path. A mass of what? Plankton! That large patch of plankton is actually made up of teeny tiny little things. Uh, oh yeah. You see, there are little animals and little green plants in the plankton. <laughs> but what's our mission, Captain? Well, the plankton is our mission for the next few weeks. You mean we're just going to sit here and watch little bits of green gunk? We can learn big things from little things, Quasi. Aye, like how to go stir-crazy with your tail stuck in one place. Um, Quasi, I think Tweak could use some help with the Gup X. The Gup X? Well, now you're talking! I don't know, Quasi. Seems to me you're better at wrecking Gups and helping fix him. Oh, come on, matey. What have you got to lose? A Gup. Please? <sighs> All right, follow me. What do you need me to do? Drive the tank up the side of an undersea volcano? See how fast the glider can fly upside down? Nope. You want me to just sit on the octoski? You can try to get it going after I clean all the plankton out of the engine. Don't worry, I'll get her started. Wait, Quasi! First I gotta... I've got it started, but how do I get it to stop? It's stuck! Quasi to tweak. Come in. A high octopod. Anybody? Ah, no problem. Me pirate senses tell me the octopod's just a little bit back that way. Okay, a lot of it back. Left, right, sky! Left, right, sky! Oh, be a sea monkey's uncle! Left, it's right, a sky. bug walking Left, on water! Right, sky. Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider, the only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing! But true! I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey, I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh, yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she-skater. All the she-skaters are bigger than the he-skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? No. We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. <laughs> yeah, we need food! <laughs> what do you sea skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast, and it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What do we got to lose? Ready, kids? Yeah, we're yeah. ready. <laughs> coon, coon. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. OK, here we go. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, and hurry. Right, skate. Don't like Left, the look right, of this wind. Skate. Any sign of Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the gup finder. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find it before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out, and I can't open the octo hatch. Nothing's working right. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea, and every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh, no. Quasi's out there while we're stuck in here. <sighs> hmm. Any luck opening the octo hatch, Tweak? 
No, we gotta unjam the octa hatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey, you're talking to a speed skater, man. <laughs> Can't you swim any faster? Come on, I'll race you. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> I, I had leg cramp. Sorry about that, me hearty. I didn't see you there, because you're so... Don't say little. Uh, no. I mean, yes. Uh... Coming through. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. <sighs> That's as far as I can get it. I can't get through. If Basil can't make it, who can? Janet, you did it! Captain, I found the Octo Ski! But I'm tracking a really big wave, and it's heading straight for Quasi. Let's go. Tweak, activate glider. You got it, Cap. Oh! Hang on, kids. Okay, Sally, time to bubble up. Time to what? Bubble up. Remember those little hairs I told you about? When the water gets really rough, it helps us do this. So we can breathe, even if we go underwater. Amazing! Haha, <laughs> but true! What about the babies? <laughs> well, I don't have a bubble, but you're welcome to take shelter in my octo ski. All aboard! It's okay, hon, I've got it. <laughs> my babies! Mummy! I'll save them! <laughs> Don't be scared, kids. I've got you. Here you go. Strider is gone. Stay with your babies. I'll get him. Should see Quasi any minute, Cap. Ah, there's nobody here. Hey, who are you calling nobody? Uh, oh, hello. Um, who are you? Oh, never mind that. These waves are getting too big. My husband and your furry friend are in danger. Strider! <laughs> need a lift? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> what makes you think I need a... <laughs> Are you all right, matey? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Poor little bug. Too small to save himself. That's not what I was thinking. Everybody needs saving sometimes, just like you saved the baby skaters. That's big! Right. You may be little, but you do big things. No, no, no. I mean that! Shiver me whiskers! Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bubble! <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> right on time, Captain! Tweak, open the windscreen! Did you miss me? <laughs> I'll quit showing off. <sighs> it's good to see you, Quaz. You too, Tweak. Carrot? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> mm. Fascinating. I've never seen something so little eat so much plankton. Uh, 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 uh. They may be little, but... We do big things. <laughs> Here we 
we are, the lava tubes. Great, let's get started. Uh, I don't see any lava. That's because it's all underground. The hot lava flows under the seabed. When it dries, it makes caves like these. They're called lava tubes. Inside, it can get very hot. How hot? That's what we're going to find out. Shellington. We'll use these special thermometers to see how hot they are. But going inside a lava tube can be dangerous. So we'll check from the outside, like this. Oh, this one's very, very hot. Fascinating. I've used a thermometer lots of times to take sick creatures' temperatures. This shouldn't be too hard. Just be careful, everyone, and watch out for loose boulders and steam vents. easier if I were bigger and faster. Hey, buddy, you all right? Um, who said that? I did, down here. Huh? Uh, ooh. The name's Frank. What's yours? Um, Peso? Peso? We heard you shout. Is everything all right? I, I'm fine, but I found a rock, and its name is Frank. I think the heat might be getting to him, Captain. Hiya, fellas. I'm Frank. Oh! <gasps> But how? Aha! Uh -huh. Fascinating. Well, what do you see? Frank isn't a rock. He's a water bear. How you doing? Water bears are tiny creatures that live all over the world. That's right. Oceans, forests, snowy mountains. We live everywhere. My Uncle Gary even went into outer space. But you're so small. We may be small, but we're tough. You gotta be tough to live around here. With all the lava tubes and big rocks and sweet bad. Frank! The lava tube! Huh? What? Yeah. Time to sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> Octonauts, a teeny tiny water bear has fallen into a hot lava tube and we've got to get him out. Captain, exploring lava tubes is extremely dangerous. You never know when one might suddenly erupt. Then we'll need some way to look inside and see what we're dealing with. Dashy? Already on it, Captain. This rover cam will show us the inside of the lava tube. Looks hot. I just hope Frank is all right in there. Dashy, over there. It's Frank's rock. Can you pick it up, Dashy? I'll try. Easy, easy. The heat must be damaging the rover cam, but I almost have it. Oh. Lost it. Oh, no. <gasps> it's too hot in there. Then we'll just have to go in and find Frank ourselves. You can't just swim into a lava tube. It's as hot as an oven in there. That's why I brought these. These proof diving suits. These will protect you from the heat. And the octo goggles will help you see Frank. If we follow the rover cam's cable, it should lead us to Frank's rock. Oh. <gasps> That doesn't sound good. Captain, there's a lot of unusual lava movement beneath the cave. It could erupt at any moment. You better find Frank quickly. Oh, uh oh, get down! Oh, I thought the whole cave was going to collapse. I can't see. Look, the rover cat is right here in front of us. Uh, Quasi. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> These octo goggles really do make things look bigger. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! He's not there. Oh, no. Hey, so, buddy! Over here! Frank, are you all right? We're here to rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe. Hi there. And Eddie. How you doing? And Laverne. Hello. And, and that's old Pops. Oh, uh, howdy. You mean water bears can actually live down here? We sure yep. can. <laughs> but don't you little mateys get hot? I told you we was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Captain, the lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashy. You water bears should come with us. No, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Harder the better. Oh, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on, did you say lava? Ah. Run for your lives! Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Our little legs don't go so fast. Here. Hop on. Don't mind if I do. I'll follow the fence. Travel oh, I stay out. Is it just me? Or is it getting hotter in here? Yeah. Lava, we have to hurry. This would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Come on, Hazo. My Uncle Gary always says it doesn't matter how big or fast you are, you just gotta be tough. How can you be sleepy at a time like this? When water bears get really hot, we go to sleep until it's safe to wake up. You see what I mean? Just a little bit further. Look out! Whoa! Everybody okay? I think so. Water bears? <laughs> yeah, uh, we're good. Are you okay? Never yeah, better. Break me when it cools down. Good. Now let's move. Wait, where's Frank? Uh, he was just here. Yo, Frankie! Frank, where are you? He must have fallen off. He's not here. But that means he's somewhere back there. On the other side of those rocks. We can't leave him behind. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find a way to get through that rock pile. But we'll have to hurry. Allow me, Captain. <laughs> Your turn. <clears throat> See the other side. <laughs> One of you will have to swim through. That tunnel's too small for me. But it's just the right size for me. <laughs> it's all up to you, Peso. I'm coming for you, Frank. <sighs> Frank, where are you? He could be anywhere. Frank, is that you? Frank! Oh, thank goodness! Flappity flippers! Hey, so, hurry! Are we going for a ride? Gotcha, Maisie! Let's go! Octonauts, keep going! Made it. Yeah. Ah. It was a close one. <sighs> hey, we're outside. What did I miss? Everybody made it out of the lava tube safe and sound. You said it, and it's all thanks to Peso. Peso, way to go! I know you had it in you, buddy. I may not be the biggest or the fastest, but I'm still tough. He sure is. You're even is. tougher than my Uncle Gary. Okay. Yeah, the toughest penguin I ever saw. And somebody. Hold still, Mr. Lobster. There. Good as new. Ah, thanks, mate. 
Dashi to Peso. Come in, Peso. There's a storm heading your way and it looks like a big one. Thanks, Dashi. I'll head back to the octopod right away. That's the problem. The storm's moving fast. You won't make it back here in time. Peso, your best option is to get in the Gup E and find a safe place to wait it out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll check back in when the storm passes. Stay safe, Peso. It'll be safe down here. Come on. Good idea. I'll just get the Gup E. Oh, no. <sighs> Captain, come in, Captain! I don't believe it! Just a little further! is the perfect place to wait out the storm. <sighs> well, it's kept us safe for many, many years. Who said that? Good day, mate. Flappity flippers! <laughs> There's no need to be frightened. It's only us tree lobsters. Tree lobsters? Now, now, give him space, fellas. <laughs> we don't get guests up here very often. I'm old Howie, at your service. I'm Peso. I am... You actually live up here? Yeah, of course. But it's a giant rocky spike in the middle of the ocean. Ah, oh, you must be wondering how we got here. Well, <laughs> actually I can't seem to remember. It all happened so long ago, you see. But uh, we've made a happy little home for ourselves up here. How many of you are there? Only 24 at the last count. Oh, hi. 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 But once these eggs hatch, there'll be a few more. Oh. <sighs> ah, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Lobsters. Oh. Where did they go? Ah, tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Mm. Looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the Octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah! Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Hey, sir, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on! Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. Whoops! <gasps> a tree lobster! Ha <laughs> ha! I knew we'd find them! Listen to this! 
Lord Howe's island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! A baby tree lobster. I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. <laughs> Yow! He's getting away. <laughs> Yow! Quasi, Peso, what's going on? There's a real life tree lobster loose on the ship. We have to catch him, Captain. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the H. Uh, no, um, octonauts to the launch. Um. Follow that tree lobster! <laughs> Incredible! I've never seen anything like it! <laughs> we knew that tree lobsters were real, didn't we, Peso? <laughs> He's heading for the kitchen! Watch out, vegetables! It up slowly, Tunip. We don't want to startle him. <laughs> Looks like he's heading for the garden pot. Let's go. I don't see the little guy anywhere, Cap. Keep looking. He's got to be around here somewhere. Huh? <sighs> Under a plant, just like home. Oh, all that running must have tired him out. He's sound asleep. We need to get him back to his home on Bull's Pyramid. Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Wake up, little fella. You're home. <coughs> you mean you climbed up there all by yourself, Peso? I did have a little help from a huge wave. Well, we'll be getting a little help from these climbing claws. Ooh. Hold on, little fella. Shouldn't be much further now. I think the shrub is just a... I've got you, matey. And I've got you. <laughs> Good catch, Captain. The shrub. Kind of scraggy little thing, isn't it? This is where the tree lobsters live, Peso. Yes, but where are they? <sighs> Peso! Old Howie! Huh? <laughs> You're back! And you brought little Howie Jr. with you. <laughs> Oh, we were so worried. But where were you? Well, sleeping, of course. We tree lobsters are nocturnal. We only come out at night. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. That's why no one's ever seen you before. Peso, this is an incredible discovery. You'll notice that our tribe has grown. Number 25 and 26 hatch today, and Howie Jr. here makes 27. Keep an eye on Howie Jr. He's a lively one. <laughs> Thanks for bringing him back to us. Won't you all stay the night as our guests? We'd be honoured, but we should head back home before it gets dark. Goodbye, old Howie. Goodbye, tree lobsters. Hey, goodbye. Thanks for coming. Oh, my God. Um, how do we get down from here, anyway? I think you're going to like this part, Quasi. Octonauts! Say, ah, oh, please. Ah! Uh... Ah! Uh... Uh... 
both perfectly healthy. Captain, these sea cucumbers can go back to their rocks now. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Ivan, I could use a checkup. Of course. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Dorian. Careful now. I'm an old jelly. I'll be very careful. <laughs> I could use a little snacky snack. <gasps> oh no! Ah! Oh, this is too scary for an old jelly like me. <laughs> huh? Now, where's that jelly go? Uh... Dorian, is that you? <laughs> what happened to your tentacles? Are you all right? Do you need help? <laughs> Captain, Quasi, follow that baby jellyfish. Uh, why are we chasing after a little baby jellyfish? A couple of minutes ago, he was a grown-up jelly. But then he turned into a baby. But grown-ups don't turn into babies. But I saw it with my own eyes. I know who might be able to explain it. Shellington? Shellington here, Captain. Shellington, take a look at this. That's a baby jellyfish, Captain. Yes, but a few minutes ago, he was a grown-up jellyfish. He was frightened by a sea turtle, and then something very strange happened. The grown-up jellyfish changed into a baby jellyfish. Yes. Jumping immortal jellyfish! Don't lose sight of that baby jelly! Right, I'll need my nightcap. I mean my notecap. Ah, I mean my notebook. Huh? Oh! Uh, uh, tunip, sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to the Jelly Bay! The Jelly Bay? Uh... Robot Jelly Bay, not the launch bay. Oh, oh, thanks, Tunip. Uh, one more time. Octonauts, to the launch bay! <laughs> Shellington, what's going on? Captain, this is so exciting. You found an immortal jellyfish. I, you, you still have him, don't you? <laughs> right here, <laughs> safe and sound. What's so exciting about it, matey? An immortal jellyfish can do something no other creature can do. Turn back into a baby and start its life all over again. So that means an immortal jelly can live forever? Yes, unless something eats it. Don't worry, I've got it. Captain, the immortal jelly is the only creature in the world who makes this amazing change. I've never had the chance to see one for myself. Until now, we'll keep this baby immortal jelly safe until you can get here. Thank you, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh. Uh, oh. <coughs> uh, wait, uh, where's my notebook? Uh, and my magnifying glass. Father? Oh, oh, thanks, Tunit. No, no, I'll drive. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Be careful, Shellington. Oh, don't worry. Right. Uh, oh, 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 oh. 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 oh that's better. Captain, I'm on my way. I'll be there as fast as I can. All right, Shellington, but don't worry. We'll take good care of this baby jelly. Now all we have to do is to wait for Shellington. Do, 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 do. Shellington, Shellington. Oh, where are all those bubbles coming from? <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, no! Where's Dorian? There, mateys! We've got to catch that jelly before the whale swallows it. No, it's heading for the whale's mouth. <laughs> Time for some tickling. Tickling? We'll tickle the whale to keep his mouth open long enough to grab the baby jelly. Quasi, you take the tail, I'll take the belly, and Peso... I'll take the jelly. Let's go. Activate Tickle. 
down somewhere on a nice, secure... Rock! Rock? rock? Yes, a growing jelly goes through big changes. First, the baby attaches to a rock. Next, it turns into a polyp. And then the polyp turns into the grown-up jelly. Understood. We'll find a rock then. And I'll see you soon, Captain. Shillington, out! Out, out of the way! Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Uh, I'll, I'll just get us going again. Uh, the, the gup's not working. We need another way to travel. Swimming will take too long. Oyster, oyster. Booster packs. Good thinking, Tunip. Activate booster packs. Wait for me. Shut. Take. Long. No. This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No. I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? Of course it's me, man. I've just been going through some changes, that's all. I've gone from a baby to a polyp. And it won't be long until I'm all grown up again. I hope Shellington gets here in time to see it happen. <laughs> Not far. Oh, no. Let's boost our speed. Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! oh no, I broke the booster packs. I'm sorry, Tunip. Shadow. Tunip? The Santa Rosa, the bar. Oh, good thinking, Tunip. To the Coral Reef, please. Next stop, the Coral Reef. And you better hold on tight. Whoa! What is it, Dorian? I'm feeling a little funny. You don't have a fever. Does anything hurt? Are you hungry? Or sleepy? No, man. It's, it's like I need to sneeze or a hiccup or make a change. But this is it. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. <laughs> Look at me. I'm all grown up. And Shellington missed it, Captain. Ah, Captain, I'm here. Oh, no. That sailfish is coming right for me. <laughs> oh, amazing! I got to see him turn into a baby jelly right before my eyes. You got here just in time, Shellington. Super, super! Well, we hit a teeny bump here and there, but mostly it was smooth sailing. Right, Tunip? <sighs> <laughs> Captain Barnacles to Shellington, how's your exploration of the coral reef going? Wonderfully, Captain. We've discovered something amazing. A huge stone archway. Uh, you there? Can you help us? Help you? 
Um, how? Oh, we've got cracks in the archway. And if the cracks keep cracking, the whole thing could come crashing down. <gasps> He's right. The cracks are weakening the arch. It could collapse any moment. Hmm. Is there any way to repair it? I don't think there's time for that, Captain. The cracks are already too big. Right. You'd better move the creatures attached to the arch to a safe area nearby. And be sure to warn other creatures who live around the arch, too. Aye, aye, Captain. We're on it. What was that? What was what? I don't see anything. I don't either now. I thought I saw something sticking up out of that burrow. Maybe just a shadow or a puff of sand. Hmm. Well, that's everyone. Maybe. I just want to make sure. Hello? Anyone home? You're wasting your time. I've never seen anybody come or go out of that burrow. I know I saw something. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Gilbert. Hello, Gilbert. What you looking at? We were looking to see if there's anyone down in this burrow. Of course there is. That's Mama's burrow. Who's Mama? Our Mama. Mama. If your Mama lives down there, you have to warn her that... <laughs> Fish certainly do come and go quickly in these burrows. I think I know how to get to the bottom of this. The Rover Cam. It's a camera that can squeeze into tight places. If there's anything in there, we'll see it on this screen. <laughs> peek a -boo. Gilbert, is that you? <laughs> Didn't we just see him swim into that burrow over there? I think it might be one big burrow with different entrances. Look! Jumping jellyfish. Amazing! You want to meet Mama? This way! <laughs> Lots of hallways and rooms in this house, huh? <laughs> Mama, we've got company! Hey! Out of here, you! Out, out, out! Maybe I can tempt her out. Say, aren't you the fella I saw earlier? Yes, and I saw you too. Can you come out? We need to talk to you. You can talk to me right here. I'm a convict fish and I never come out. But uh, we met your children out here. We go out and bring Mama food. We're just about to get her some lunch. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? And make it quick. Uh, I'm afraid you and your burrow are in danger. The arch above you is about to collapse. You need to move somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. A grown-up convict fish like me never leaves her burrow. Now, good day to you! Oh, the arch is getting weaker by the minute. Dashy, how's everything going out there? I'm afraid there's a problem, Captain. There's a convict fish right under the archway and she won't leave her burrow. I think you might want to... Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, we have a convict fish who needs to be moved out of the danger zone of a collapsing stone arch. She's deep inside her burrow and she really doesn't want to leave. Sounds like she's going to need some convincing, Captain. Quasi, Vegemals, into the gut A and bring plenty of fish biscuits and kelp cakes. Hi, what you doing? Gilbert, can you get your mama to talk to Captain Barnacles? Is he your mama? <laughs> uh, not exactly, but I do look after him. Oh, what now? Excuse us, mama, but the stone archway above is going to fall on top of you if you don't move out quickly. We've been through that. I'm not moving. And... Mm -hmm. <gasps> Something smells good. Fish biscuits, Mama. They can all be yours. All you gotta do is come out. Oh, no. Nope. Not leaving. No way, no how. <sighs> She's more stubborn than the lid of a 
rusty treasure chest. No amount of convincing is going to get her out of that burrow. Agreed. But perhaps we can move her burrow to a safer place. Huh? How? By digging another burrow. If we connect it to Mama's burrow, she can swim underground to a safer area. On it, Captain. We'll need to tunnel down vertically several feet, then along horizontally to join up with Mama's burrow. Well, let's get digging. Uh, one problem. If we make the hole too big, the tunnel could collapse. So, we need someone a little bit smaller than we are to dig it. Ah! Almost there. And perfect. Now, start digging to the right. They've stopped. Something's in their way. I think it's a large rock. <laughs> Sounds like they're trying to move it. It must be too heavy to move. Vegemals, you need to go around it. They're going round it, Captain. And yes, they're back on course. Time's running out. Quickly, Vegemals, dig as fast as you can. They're almost there. Yeah, almost may not be good enough. I'll try and slow it down. Uh-oh, that don't sound good. Maybe we should get out. The children, follow Mama. Oh, no! Get behind me, kids. Another cave-in. Well, I'll be... We're right behind you. Come on, kids! Dashie, did they all get out safely? I can't see anything. The cave-in cut off the signal. Hoo-wee! I like our new digs. Reminds me of my old home. Well done. And Mama and her young fish, all safe and accounted for. Got my burrow, got my kids. Huh? Hey, where's Gilbert? Gilbert! 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 Help! Help! Down here! It's Gilbert. He must be trapped in the old burrows. We have to rescue him. But how? It's too dangerous down there for the vegetables. I know. The rover cam. A delicate operation like this calls for the steady flippers of a medic. Octonauts, totem pole! We have to hold the arch up as long as we can. Uh, hurry, Peso! Yeah, but my tail isn't. Gilbert's tail is pinned. He's stuck. Ah, the rover cam. Any way to maneuver it to free Gilbert's tail. Careful, matey. One wrong move and the whole tunnel can collapse. If anybody can do it, it's you, Peso. The steady flippers of a medic. Onto the camera, Gilbert. <laughs> All clear. Ah. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Right. That was a close one. Well done, Peso. But where's Gilbert now? Right where he should be. Is everyone okay in here? More than okay, now that all my babies are safe and sound in our new home. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. Y'all come back and visit anytime. You know where to find Mama. <laughs> Mama's always home. Ready to go, Tweak? 
Yep. I've put in an eject button just like you wanted, Quasi. It'll help you escape from the gup in an emergency. No! Press this, and you'll be bounced out of the gup beef faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Time to take a ride and test out the new button. Ow! Now, hold on. You need to know how to work this thing. I press the button, I get bounced out of the gup. Easy. First, you turn off the engine, then you press the button. Hi, hi, me hearty. Now open the octo hatch. If you don't turn off the engine first, the gup bee will drive away without you. Got it. Now let's go. You forgot, didn't you? Forgot? No! Um, forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button. And now I've lost my favourite gup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the gut B is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashi, check the gup finder. It should show us where the gut B is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the Gup C right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the Gup B again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the Gup B. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gut sea ready, Tweak? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest! Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh, Quasi? Oh. Let's go, Shellington. <laughs> Amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. 
Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the gup finder, we're close. This way! Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest! Orange shark? Hold on! That must be the gup bee! Come back here! What did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Hi, matey. But they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> <laughs> Uh, he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon, and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish. Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No. He mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup, but when you feel down, it helps to look up. Oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gut bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go. The gup finder shows that the gup bee should be right here. Then why can't we see it? Where could it be? You! Yeah, you! <laughs> here, over here. Who said that? Up here! <laughs> Up where? Right here, silly! <laughs> where? Captain, the kelp leaves are talking to me. Kelp leaves? Talking? They say that the gut bee's right here. Oh, but where? Look, there's nothing here but kelp. <laughs> it's... it's... The gut bee! Yeah! Did you miss me? Ha <laughs> I missed you too. We told you it was right in front of you. You're not a kelp leaf. I'm a kelp fish. We're all kelp fish. <laughs> <laughs> they do look just like leaves of kelp. That makes it easy for us to hide whenever we want in the kelp forest. Come along now. Playtime is over. Hi, Mum. We really fooled them. <laughs> they thought we were kelp leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, children. Octonaut, let's get the gup bee out of this forest. Yow! Aye, aye, Captain! <sighs> it's good to be back in my favourite gup. You just put your feet up, Quasi, but not on the eject button. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> Everyone keep a lookout. Captain, it looks like they're heading our way. We should be able to see them out of the window any minute now. Dashi, sound the octo alert. 
Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the eels are on the move. They should be here any minute. This only happens one time each year, so we don't want to miss it. <gasps> there they are. Eels. <gasps> lots and lots of them. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're in a big hurry to get somewhere. But where? They're on their way from the ocean up the river to the lake. It's a dangerous journey. No one knows exactly how they do it. Octonauts, our mission is to follow these eels and find out. Shellington. Thank you, Captain. Every year, a group of young eels travels from the ocean where they were born up the river to this lake where they will live. That looks easy enough. Ah, but there are all kinds of dangers along the way, Quasi. Rocks, rough bumpy water, sudden twists and turns in the river. I'd like to try that trip myself. And that's why you'll be driving the Guppe with me on this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the launch bay. Come on, mateys. Those slippery eels have a head start, and we've got to catch up. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You've got it, Cap. We've already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Yeah. Where be those eels? Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. We're going upstream and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm going to need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Steer with me. One, two, three. <sighs> Thanks, Quasi. Now let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. Eels are swimming fast. Aye, but well we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing. Anywhere they can go, we can go too. Are you all right? We're all right, Dashy. We're just going for a little spin. Oh, no. I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the octopod. We're all OK. But the guppe has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after them, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacles out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing. Uh, ooh. Help. Huh? Help. Did somebody say something? Help. Where are you? Down here. Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can 
only a grab onto this, matey. Yes, go on. Pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. <coughs> oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. <sighs> you need a bandage. <laughs> that was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help get him back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye, Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. That water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. Got it. Grab a hold. Let's go. A cave. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. I am full of squirmy eels. Where were you? We lost you. We were worried. These are my friends. Oh, thanks for getting me here. Well, you young eels certainly work hard to get where you're going. I admire your determination. It's what we do. And when we're old enough, we'll head back down the river to the ocean and have baby eels of our own. And when those babies are old enough, they'll make their journey up the river. Aye, and we'll get to have this adventure all over again. Crashing the duck, going through tunnels, swimming through rapids and over rocks. Right, Peso? If you say so. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Captain Barnacles, according to the radar, estimated time of arrival is one minute. Thanks, Dashy.
Squeak, your friend Sandy the sea turtle is almost here. Thanks, Kip. I hope she likes the special surprise I'm making for her. You better hurry up. Your friend is moving fast. Yeah, Sandy's a leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are fast swimmers, that's for sure. Visitor arriving in five, four, three, two, one. I'll open the octo hatch, Tweak. Sandy! Tweak! This is my good friend, Sandy. Welcome aboard the Octopod. I'm in a bit of a hurry, but I'm so glad I could stop by. How far did you swim to get here? Oh, show us on the map. Well, I swam all the way from there to here. Yes. Yes. Your flippers must be really tired. I'm used to it. Leatherback sea turtles travel farther in the ocean than any other sea turtles. The trick is to find a really fast current. A fast current? Ah, tell us more. A current is like a river in the ocean that's always moving. I swam in one to get here, and today I'm looking for a really fast one. But what's the big hurry? I have to get back to the beach where I was born so I can lay my eggs there. Hold on. I made something for you. This is a friend finder. I'll put this on your back. And look, there you are. The friend finder helps me find you on the map to see where you're going. Tweak, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Can someone point me in the right direction? Let's see. If you're going back to the beach where you were born, you should head that way. Gotta go, Octonauts. Thanks for the friend finder tweak. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. bye. Well. Look, there she goes. Hmm, I wonder why she's going that way. That's not the way to the beach. Tweak, zoom in, please. Right away, Cap. It looks like Sandy's caught in the wrong current. And this one is headed straight for that whirlpool. Whirlpool? Yes, a huge, powerful swirl of water that pulls everything downwards. <sighs> Oi! And it can be very dangerous, because it's hard to swim out of. Oh, no. Captain, Sandy needs our help. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Tweak's friend Sandy is stuck in the wrong current and she's headed for that whirlpool. We need to save her. I've got just the thing, Cap. A turbo booster. It'll help the gut bay go fast enough to catch up to Sandy. Good work. Tweak, Quasi, let's go. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll save Sandy. Peso, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Captain. Finder shows that Sandy is far ahead of us. We need to catch up to her. Hold on, Octonauts. Turbo Booster, go! Yeah! We're coming for you, Sandy, as fast as we can. Don't worry, we'll catch up to her, me hearty. We have to be careful that we don't get too close to the current, or we'll get stuck in it as well, just like Sandy. Are we 
we getting any closer to Sandy? Uh-huh, but we better catch up soon, because she's headed straight for that whirlpool. Away, Tweak. The whirlpool's coming up fast, Captain. There's no way we can rescue Sandy while we're outside that current. So what do we do? There's only one thing we can do. I was thinking I could use a little swim. Tweak, you steer while Quasi swims into the current. Then, when he grabs Sandy, we'll pull them both out. Got it, Cap. Get to the beach to lay my eggs fast. You can hitch a ride with us. Barnacles to peso. We're going to need you at the beach. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred, one hundred beautiful eggs. Congratulations, Sandy. Oh, thank you, Octonauts. <laughs> I think I'll need to make a hundred new friend finders. <laughs> All right, Mr. Lobster, let's take a look at that antenna. It's all right, this won't hurt. All done. Oh, thanks, Doc. Bye. Cheerio. Ah, my last patient of the day. 
Peso, come in, Peso. Captain, is something wrong? There's no time to explain. Head down to the launch bay now. Who? <laughs> What's going on, Tweak? I don't know, but the captain sounds real worried. Here he comes. Peso, I've got a lot of hurt patients back here. Hurry. <gasps> There's more of them in here. Peso, we found them covered in rubbish. They need your help. Tweak, clear out your workshop. We'll need that space for an emergency room. You got it, Peso. Good work, Peso. Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, twas awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. What was it, matey? Were you attacked by some kind of rubbish monster? Not now, Quasi. These pelicans need to rest. No, it's all right. Tis a tale that needs to be told. Oh, Charlie's the name, and this here's me fishing crew. We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip of the morning, and we'd just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them, prepare to plunge. That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast. Then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, we were tricked. Twasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashy and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. <laughs> but why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big, floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Already in the launch bay? Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Dashy, can you track it on the map? Already on it, Captain. That must be it. It's drifting over the octopod right now. Peso, you stay here and look after the pelicans. Everybody else, let's head to the surface. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! Look at all that rubbish! With these nets, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. But, Captain, what do we do with the rubbish once we scoop it up? Don't worry about that, Dashy. We'll put the rubbish into this octobin. And then take it back to the octopod to recycle. Mm. Octonauts, let's do this. Octonauts, we're making good progress. I'd better see how things are going back at the octopod. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, looks good. Peso, come in, Peso. How are your patients? Well, Captain, I'd say the pelicans are healing nicely. Excellent. Ooh. Peso, what's that noise? Hmm, looks like there's another patch of something heading your way. Hmm, more rubbish, maybe. Whatever it is, it's moving fast. Yeah. 
<laughs> Something's tickling me toes. <laughs> it's not more rubbish. Huh? It's a huge school of fish. Uh-oh. Whenever there's a school of fish this big, there's bound to be a, yeah. a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Attention, swordfish. There's rubbish in the water. It's not safe to eat here. <gasps> <laughs> They're all too hungry to listen. In that case, we'd better hurry. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, we're surrounded. Captain, come in, Captain. What's going on up there? We're caught in the middle of a... Whoa! Feeding frenzy. It's making the clean-up a little tricky, and we... Captain! Captain! Oh, no. I have to help them. Listen, Doc, we pelicans know a thing or two about feeding frenzies. The trick is to get in and out as fast as you can. But how? <laughs> what say ye, mateys? Ready to stretch your wings? <laughs> Ready! They're coming from every direction! There's got to be a... Whoa! Way out of here! Captain! Jump on! Great timing, Peso. Octonauts, let's move out. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. Thanks for the lift, Pelicans. Good to see you're feeling better. Now, what do you say we clean up the rest of this sea rubbish before someone gets hurt? Remember, mateys, in and out fast. Get ready, Octonauts. When the pelicans dive in, try to scoop up as much rubbish as you can. Prepare to plunge! everyone. Hold on. Where's Peso? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a medic. I help any creature who's hurt or sick. Oh, thank you. Good to go. Au revoir. That's funny. The swordfish are leaving. The feeding frenzy must be over. Flippity flippers! There he is! Are you all right in there, Peso? I'm fine, Captain. That was a close one. Thanks, old Charlie. No worry, Peso. Good work, everyone. Pelicans, we couldn't have done it without you. Aye, after everything you did for us, it was the least we could do. All right, mateys, who's up for a little fishing? Hooray! Goodbye! 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Prepare to plunge! <laughs> 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 